Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, we've got low pressure dominating New Zealand, not only this week, but likely this weekend as well. It's a bit of a game changer when you think about it, because for the last few years, we've seen a lot of high pressure. We haven't really had a lot of lows rolling in one after the other. So this week is a bit of a change, but but before we get too excited about the low pressure bringing potential rain into the areas that still need it a lot, we've got this very big powerful high in charge just to the south. But low pressure to the north and another low forming which is coming in more this weekend does give New Zealand some better chances of getting some rain in. But this low is currently the main feature with the windy southeasterlies. A uh, bit of a cool breeze moving through the houses last night. If you don't have good insulation, you would have felt it that southeaster coming through. Daytime temperatures aren't too extreme though, but just giving an understanding that this system is dredging up colder air thanks to that big high. We talked the other day about a polar change coming through. It's sort of mixed in with this system. It's not clearly a direct uh, polar blast, but that cooler southerly is certainly being felt. We've got rain on the way today. This is the Monday rainfall through till tomorrow morning, through till 6 a.m. Tuesday. The rainfall totals aren't huge over here in Hawke's Bay, one of the areas that really does need it the most, but some areas will get potentially up to 30 millimetres over the next 24 hours. So that is very helpful. Other areas at the lower end of the scale, five to 10 millimetres. So it's not the huge rain event just yet, but these accumulated rainfalls are helping. So this is the setup for Tuesday. The low is still there, although it drifts a little bit further east. So the winds might ease a wee bit in some areas, although in other places they might slide a little bit further down towards um, Cook Strait. High pressure in charge of the South Island. More cold weather tonight. Big frost coming in in some areas. On Wednesday, uh, still could be a bit frosty in the South Island. Certainly in the North Island, not so frosty with the southeasterly wind blowing through. The low itself actually drifts closer again before drifting out again back out to sea. So Wednesday is another day where it'll be windy around sort of the, the Bay of Islands and Great Barrier Island and out here around East Cape. But as you can see, the isobars are sort of getting a bit of a gap between them now as that high moves through and the low will start to go with it. So by Thursday, that low is actually moving away from the very north. It looks like it hasn't changed much, but it's starting to drift a little bit further out to the east. Very windy though still around that northeastern corner because the low itself might still deepen a little bit further. So it's a little bit of a tricky one to track this week. Many of you in the north are going to get forecasts that might flip-flop because the wind and the rain, very fine line between where it is falling and blowing and where it is dry. So only a slight movement of the low or a slight expansion of the high can change the forecast by 100 kilometers and shift that rain back out to sea or Vice versa, the other way, you can get 100 kilometer um, rain sort of expanding further down the country. So we'll be keeping a close eye on this. It's good news for Hawke's Bay if we can get a little bit more rain in there before the end of the week. Speaking of the end of the week, so on Friday, transition day, as that low moves away, but we've got this southerly blast coming in to the Tasman Sea. So we get into the weekend and Saturday sees a new low forming here, potentially down to 986, which is quite deep. And with the low that we've just had, now lying out here, this is all low pressure. So this is a bit of a change from what we've been seeing uh, a lot of this year and last year. So we'll be watching this one come through with interest. It's not 100% locked in, it's still this Saturday, but there is a sign of a cold change coming through across the country again, and this one looks a bit bigger than the one we've got at the moment. That is all from me. We'll see you again on Tuesday with our next update.